right hey everybody what is up as you can tell by the title of the video i'm here with another trader joe's haul i spent about a hundred dollars at trader joe's um because i've been on vacation for my birthday so that's why i haven't been posting i was out of town in mexico but i'm back i'm ready to post new recipes new mukbangs new grocery hauls all types of stuff so let's get started this is going to be a no order i'm just going to pull stuff out of my bag and kind of see what happens so since i was on vacation i felt inclined to get greens so i got organic mixed baby kale and then organic butter lettuce and radicchio i love butter lettuce um i got this olive oil premium extra virgin olive oil i've never seen this one before but the girl said it was really good and it comes with like a little spout so very excited about that you can never have too much olive oil all of my mediterranean friends out there you know and then i got these um tri-colored carrots are these organic they are organic and i was thinking i would roast them in the oven um, with some olive oil and salt and pepper that would be really delicious simple good so everyone's buzzing about this it's the five layer dip and it's garbanzo and black bean hummus, guacamole, pico de gallo, um, sour cream, and a four cheese blend. And everyone is saying that this is just insanely delicious. And I'm so curious to see like this hummus with guac and salsa. Just be careful when you guys get it because um, I was checking the expiration dates on them today while I was at Trader Joe's. And like a bunch of them were like already expired, which was kind of weird. So don't know why. Still on the health train, I got some broccoli crowns, or just some broccoli, some shishito peppers, some bell peppers, a yellow one, and um, or I'm sorry, an orange one and a red one, and FYI you guys, so in case you didn't know, I've said this before, all bell peppers start out green, that's when they're the least ripe. Then they turn to yellow, then orange, then red. Red is going to be the most nutrient-dense bell pepper. So they all start out green and they change color over time. And it just depends when they were picked. So that's what those are for. And then, oh, okay. Some Persian cucumbers. They're organic. I got an onion. And then, okay, so I got the lettuce and the bell peppers and, like, um, the cucumber and I'll probably put some red onion on there which I already have and I found these um, chicken show watermelon thighs so if you've ever been to the Middle East then you have probably more than likely had show it's usually on a big stick kind of like how El Pastor is on a stick show is on a stick and what they do is they shave it off and they put it into a pita bread with hummus and salads and um, different types of sauces so I thought I would try to make a shawarma salad. So that's what I got this for. I'm curious to see how this tastes. I know a lot of people really love it, but I know good shawarma. So I will update on this. Get some of these stuff out of the way. Um, just a few like, more little things. Some basmati rice, just because I was out of rice. I like basmati and jasmine. And then I saw these new apples. I'd never heard of these apples before. So this one is called an autumn glory. I guess it's supposed to taste like autumn, like spice. And then I found this opal apple. It's like a sweet apple, which I've never had an opal apple before. They had like a big bag of them and they were saying how it was like a new variety of apple, but I just thought I'd get one of each to see how I'd like them. Um, and if I did like them, I could then go ahead and get the big bags of them. And then I just got a dark chocolate bar, 73% cacao. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and then I got this new flavor. Well, it's, it's not new. It's new to me. This kombucha. It is the guava goddess. And holy cannoli, this is so good, you guys. I really, really... It kind of tastes grapefruity. So if you like grapefruit, I think you would like this. But I used to be the um, ginger aid kind of gal and then i was a cayenne gal and now i'm a guava goddess gal so really good really really good now on to some fun stuff i got some pita bite crackers i thought these would be good to put on the salad you could like break them up and put them on the shawarma salad 
Um, also, they're just good with cheese. <laughs> For Khaleesi, I got some chicken um, recipe jerky sticks. She really likes those. Um, some organic sugar plum tomatoes, again for my salads. I'm gonna be eating salad until like, I don't know, all week. And then this is a new seasonal item. It's the Peony Blossom Scented Candle. Sure. Made with natural soy wax blend, lead-free cotton wick. This is so nice, you guys. And it literally smells like a high-end candle. And it was like $3.99. It smells so good. So you guys know I am like a low-cost wine Trader Joe's kind of gal. I'm always looking for the best low-cost wines. Like, I don't know. It's kind of like a hobby of mine. Like, I just have to try all of them and see which ones are actually good. So I got some new ones and some old ones. So the first one is this La, Son La Sonriente. La Sonriente? Am I pronouncing that right? <laughs> 2017 Garnache Spanish Red Wine. This one was on a ton of wine blogs um, as one of Trader Joe's best inexpensive wines. It was $6.99. This is the 2017 blend. And I will let you guys know how this is. I'm going to be doing an entire video on under $10, um, the best under $10 Trader Joe's wines. I am by no means a wine expert, but I drink a lot of wine. I like wine. <laughs> My parents are winos too, so they're always telling me the good ones. The other one that was on a lot of blogs was this one. This one comes to you from Italy. It is Monte Pulciano. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not going to butcher it. then we have some of my favorites so this one is one that my mom turned me on to i showed this to you guys in my last trader joe's haul this is so so good 3.99 oh i think sorry guys okay so this one was five dollars i think it was 4.99 for the italian one like i said i think this one was 6.99 for the spanish one this french one is 4.99 it's five dollars it's a Cabernet Syrah blend. Sorry, I'm cutting my face off, you guys, but I really want to show you the wines. And then the very last item. You've seen this one before. Is It's a Chianti, $3.99, and I love this Chianti. I've even shared it with my friends, and they like this Chianti, so you'll see this one on the list, and as well as the French red blend. Um, I haven't tried the other two. But yeah, I love this one as well. And yeah, that is it for my wine. Oh, you guys, before I go, Khaleesi had surgery yesterday. And it's so sad because she's like not as perky as she usually is. But I need to show you her in her little cone. It's like the saddest but cutest thing ever. Like it's so sad but so cute. Because she's so little. Hi, honey. Khaleesi. Sweetie. <laughs> it's so sad I mean, you guys know she's usually like running around in the back of my videos so very sad but yeah here it is all the stuff sorry it's like all over <laughs> um yeah oh ooh. sorry guys almost forgot paper towels from trader joe's you get three of them for $3.99 and these are 100% recycled and 80% post, post-consumer content. So that makes me feel really good. They're not like as good as, you know, say like the, like the name brand paper towels that are like really strong, but I try not to use paper towels that often um, just for like things like cleaning the windows or like mirrors and stuff like that. So those are fine, it gets the job done and they're recycled, so that's great. The other thing I got, which so excited about, check out my new fern this fern was it's a six inch foliage plant and he was 6.99 so yeah so cute anyway you guys thank you all so much for watching please be sure to subscribe only of course if you love this video um and yeah a thumbs up would really help me out also just if you want to but 
it would really help me if you would. <laughs> Thank you guys so much and have a good day. See you next.